Just NYC Classic, we ingest about 8 billion transactions per day. Uh, recently, we've had some peak days which were even higher than the flash crash where we actually exceeded 15 billion transactions on just one matching engine. Our footprint of data is anywhere from 2 terabytes to 4 terabytes per day. That's pretty significant. And in order to deal with that kind of complexity and be able to do the types of analytics that we need to do, we need to sort of deploy a federated type of data architecture strategy utilizing the best of breed appliances because we just can't afford to use traditional approaches. Our systems couldn't sort of keep up within a batch window and within the analytics that we needed to support. So we started looking at appliances. We chose a couple of different technologies to do a pilot with and Atiza being one of them, I won't mention this, the, the second one, but it was very successful. Within two weeks, we were able to resurrect a six terabyte data warehouse or if you will, a mart and we were able to start doing some of the analytics. And we realized then that we can kind of carve a new data architecture with this type of power and speed. When trades occur, we have to analyze every single transaction. It is looking for a needle in a haystack, and when you're talking about that kind of volume, most relational technologies blow up. So market surveillance requires large table scans, and the tease is perfect at that. To be able to paralyze that type of operation, to be able to sort of analyze data and keep the data normalized, which is a key part of our, our, our flexible data architecture, is a key ingredient into this sort of methodology. The ability for users to connect to those different systems globally is key to us, and that has to be seven by 24. So we do a, a pretty thorough job in taking data and constantly synchronizing it with all our various data centers. We've got multiple data centers. We also do a very good job in terms of being able to provide tools and capabilities that sit on top of these Nateza systems through a data virtualization layer. We provide a tool set also for users to be able to point from our archives, which again is our books and records, if you will, and point it and load the data into a database all without any IT intervention. And that's a key part of the whole philosophy. Uh, we want to focus our IT resources on the operation of the system. We want to basically utilize our business and business analysts to do a lot of the meaningful interpretation of the data. We have the obvious end of day processing, which is huge, but we also have intraday processing where we're taking messages from all our trading systems, collecting them, um, and analyzing peak and capacity type of reports during the day. And we do that at one minute intervals. And then we have our Capelago data basically being fed off of the bus, and we load that into Nateza data warehouses at five minute intervals. So that gives you sort of kind of a breath that there's a lot of flexibility if you design your architecture properly that you can deal with all sorts of uh, user reporting uh, requirements, latency requirements, and yet keep up with the volumes, um, the ingestion volumes that we have.